I think the role of the city councilor is uh, really multifaceted. I think uh, first and foremost in terms of responsibilities, yes, we are responsible for uh, adopting the budget. Uh, in law, we also are responsible for managing the clerk and the auditor's office. But I firmly believe that our primary goal is to listen to the people, bring their concerns to the city council floor on a weekly basis, whether that is through constituent requests, whether it's through filing motions, or we have a policy setting budget. And we're responsible for, for uh, bringing these issues to the city council, and the manager is responsible for implementing them. And uh, I, if you agree with the, uh, the manager on a particular issue, you vote for his proposal. And if you don't, you vote against it. Uh, so, uh, but secondly, on the budget, uh, the budget, we, revenue and expenses. Yes, we need to bring more revenue in. We need less expenses, in my opinion. The current forecast that's in place, I didn't vote for the budget this year. I didn't vote for the budget because it was going to raise taxes or will raise taxes. Families are cutting back. We need to continue to cut back. I proposed a number of reductions in the budget this year in order to keep taxes down, uh, and they didn't pass. Uh, the current forecast that's in place continues to increase taxes, increase the levy, uh, levy uh, as was presented in the budget, and I think that we have to uh, address some things, things like health care. You want to know where it's expendable. Health care, we have to make reductions in health care costs. We need pension, we need to address pension costs, and, uh, and debt. Uh, there are a number of items that I didn't vote for in our debt uh, uh, loan orders and bond authorizations because I don't, think, I, didn't, I don't think that this is the appropriate time to do so. So I didn't vote for some fees, I didn't vote for other increases. Now is not the time. Uh, we have about $1.3 million in free cash. I'm not, uh, it's a rainy day fund, and it is rainy, that's why I propose that we should use it. <coughs> Again, thank you. Thank you to the neighborhood leaders, and uh, thank you to everybody that came out tonight. Uh, for 14 years, I have pledged to go to City Hall to use my education and my experience in municipal finance to watch the tax dollars and to provide fiscal oversight vote for fiscal restraint, and I have kept my word to you, the voters. <clears throat> Until the economy turns around, I think we need to be vigilant. I, need to, I believe we still need to be conservative in how we spend our, your tax dollars. I didn't vote for the budget this last year. I didn't vote for the budget the year before. Not because I don't believe that we need to spend and keep services, because I heard from constituents that said they cannot afford any more tax increases. Uh, they don't have an endless pit of money. Families are struggling, especially our elderly. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I did propose cuts, cuts that would not affect services. There is room, for the bu there is room in the budget, uh, there is a rainy day fund, and, and we should use it. Uh, I respectfully ask for one of your nine votes on election day. Thank you.